Hello, hello, my name is Rudy, and welcome to Let's Play Stellaris. We are the Citizen Council on Galactic Unity, and we are at war with the Tom Mediators. We are pushing them back on every front that we challenge them on. Their main fleet has been crushed at the Battle of Somewhere in the previous episode. And we are rebuilding our fleet. We have several... We have like a hundred... We have like almost 180k of fleet power. We, we used to have like 600k of fleet power and it all got destroyed. But we managed to save a good amount of our fleet and we are rebuilding. Well, we're not building anything right now. Oh, uh, we've hostile fleet present. The enemy... Oh yeah, they got like a 44k fleet. We cannot become complacent because they are building ships every single day, every single month. Let me see. We should probably queue up some more ships. What do we need? Military fleet. So what is our current rally point? Okay, all of our ships are meeting at Sanctuary J. We have a fleet here with a bunch of cruisers, destroyers, and corvettes. The 16th fleet has battleships and destroyers, and the 46th fleet, currently in combat, has battleships and destroyers. Oh, they built another Titan. Yikes. Okay, well, I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna queue up, like, a bunch of Corvettes. I think I'd like to make a Corvette fleet, and we'll let them all meet up at Sanctuary J, and then we'll just have a big Corvette fleet. So, let's see. Maybe if we just... I'm gonna go through and just fill up the queue. Oh, no destroyers. Get, get out of there. I guess maybe if a couple of destroyers slip in, that's okay. I mean, who could possibly say? There are so many ships out there. No one can keep track of them all. Let's see, if I if I queue up every single ship... Ah, uh, yeah, see, there's... I accidentally went for the destroyer. That's fine, though. No, no problem having some destroyers. I guess we can do corvettes and cruisers. Those types of ships are good for close-range combat. Let's throw in some brawler-class cruisers. I mean, we gotta spend these minerals after all. Mother. And let's see, more Corvettes, because, I mean, Corvettes, you need lots of Corvettes. Okay, that should be good. Oh, another destroyer. Yeah, sure, why not? We'll have some destroyers in there. So let's see how this 44, 41k fleet does against 44k. Maybe we'll win because of our superior, because of our fleet composition, maybe? We'll see. Oh yeah, they just took out a battleship. That That is brutal. I think we're gonna win, though. Yeah, look at that. It's because we, we have more ships. Physically more ships, so it's easy for us to concentrate fire. And there's that Titan. Titan has gone down. Yeah, this fleet punches way above its weight class. Because we're, we're loaded up with dis battleships and destroyers, and all the destroyers are very small. And the, I think the uh, the Awakened Empire has a hard time hitting them. Okay, let's get some armies in there. I don't know. If, I don't know that we dispatched any armies after this world yet. I guess these guys should be able to do it. Precursor discovery. Okay, we should investigate this. Maybe we'll finally finish the precursor event chain. Let's get a science ship out here. Uh, is there any option to... How do I research it? I'm confused. It said there was a precursor discovery. How do I research it? Let me go to my... I mean, all, all these are completed. There's nothing in my event log. We haven't... We need to build some mining stations, I think. Okay, well, we finished finish building that wormhole station we need to make. We need to make so we can actually get our science ships or our colony ships out to the new habitats. Because apparently, I can't refit my colony ships with jump drives. Let's build a mining station there. We need to build four mining stations to get our 250 influence. And let's see, one more there should be good. So I just queued up four mining stations. We should be able to send our colony ships to the Schnick system now. Not that one. That one is Hadam. Let's colonize. 
Finally! It's gonna happen. We're finally gonna get our... We're finally going to colonize our habitats. We deserve to colonize them. Because we built them. And maybe one day we'll have to see if we can figure out how to outfit our colony ships with better weapons. I mean, there, there was just a big public outcry. People were like, what? You're gonna put jump drives on these civilian colony ships? The same jump drives that caused the Unbidden to invade our galaxy? And of course, no one in our empire really has reason to be afraid of the Unbidden because, you know, they got completely wiped out on this side of the galaxy. But people are trying to use it to their political advantage, even though no one has ever seen or fought an Unbidden or has suffered at the hands of an Unbidden. But it's a con they, they make a convenient scapegoat. Okay. So, why we should be taking over this planet? We need to get some armies in here. How about... I feel like... I wish we had... Okay, we can send these two armies from Gatria system. So, a 34% war score. So, we need, we need to get, like, not even 50% more war score, because we're getting plus 20 for our relative naval strength. And, oh, look at that. We finished building all of our corvettes already. Yeah, see, that's the problem with building corvettes, is that, you know, they... They're just... They, they build so quick. A lot of clicks. Corvettes are cheap mineral-wise, but they're expensive click-wise. Excellent. We are colonizing our habitats. Let's throw in some Union-class Corvettes. The Union-class Corvettes, of course, are armed with kinetic weapons. Or if class Corvettes have torpedoes. What do you want? Oh, okay, so... But if they want to offer to cleanse some of their planets, I wonder who did they decide will die in order to make this peace offer? It's like, we're sorry, people of Wezen, but you need to die in order for us to end this war. But we're going to decline, because if we continue fighting and getting more war score, we'll get all of our demands. Simple as that. Okay, what is happening here? Why are these... I'm confused. What is... Do we have ships moving back to Sanctuary? Okay, so we have a transport fleet with not a whole lot. Let's select the 46th fleet, the Victorious fleet, and send them on their way to the next system. And I, I doubt the enemy is going to be able to really be... I'm not worried about the enemies. I'm just gonna basically. I'm just gonna take off all the armies and continue moving on. I don't think we need to wait and secure. We we can just go all out. We're not gonna bother defending our conquests. We're just gonna excellent. We're just gonna take our armies and keep on moving forward. I probably. That was probably a very roundabout way of describing what I'm trying to do. But I just doubt the Mediators will be able to retake any of their planets because the AI is kind of inefficient at retaking planets they've lost. They do it sometimes, but the scale of this war is so great that we don't need to worry if they retake one or two planets, I don't think. Because we're just going to... We're just going to keep on conquering enemy planets until we win. Good stuff. Yeah, and look at that. We finished making those Corvettes already. It almost makes me want to not build more Corvettes. But the 11th Fleet. The 11th Fleet has... 203 Corvettes. Okay, let's send the 11th Fleet out to take out that little fleet. If I want to take off... Because I have transports here that I might want to utilize, and I can't do that while the planet's being blockaded. Hmm. Oh, here's this invasion. Let's watch. Let's see how it goes. Oh yeah, we're winning already. Easily done. 30% more war score required. A 
I like these double systems, it's so much easier to take him over. Or it's it's an easier way to get war score. Oh, 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 here comes our, the Corvette. The Corvette. Oh, that was easy. Oh, there's some battleships in this fleet. Fair enough. I like putting them on aggressive, the aggressive stance. I need to send them into a system and they automatically go to work blowing stuff up. Okay, good stuff. We have the 10th fleet all the way back here. Yeah, Cappy Jack. Uh, shore leave is over. It's time to get back into the fight. Same thing for the troops. Okay, there's this world that we can take. Get some armies to the front. Oh, they were already being secured. Perfect. So we're at 55% war score. Come on! Hmm. We could also... How, how's my colonization coming along? Have we finished colonizing them? Oh, we finished colonizing them already. Research complete. Dragon scale armor. At, at this point, it's like I don't even need to research anything. Like we we have complete supremacy over all civilizations in this galaxy. Let's go for the better kinetic weapon damage. Situation log updated. Okay, well I'll tend to those habitats a little later. We appear to be at maximum minerals. Let us build some battleships, right? Let us spend all these minerals. We, we got minerals to spend. Too many minerals, in fact. And we're going to build a battleship fleet, the luxury of a rich nation. Oh yeah, and we spent them all already. Easily done. Situation log updated. Okay. Let us take this world. 14 Gene Warrior armies. They should be able to do it. Minor mandate fulfilled. Oh, what's that? A 4K enemy fleet? Oh no, they're trying to retake my planet. But they're not going to succeed because they themselves have no transport fleets. Maybe we have a military fleet that we can... Like, what do they have? They just have, like... They have a custodian class, it's a battle cruiser, and two escorts. So yeah, if I were to send, like, an equivalent amount of corvettes and fleet power, the corvettes would just wipe them out because these ships would have a hard time concentrating fire on individual corvettes and taking them out. Peace? There can be no peace. We need a little bit more war score. So I... I guess we're just waiting. See, I wish I could click on the planet and see any armies that are en route. Because I can't remember if I dispatched armies to this planet. I'm pretty sure I did. But maybe, who knows? Maybe I didn't. Well, I guess it's very easy. Or I, I, I guess I only have one transport fleet en route. So therefore, that means I have not sent any transports after this planet. So let's send the both of these. We'll take these armies all the way from Gatria. It's a bit of a haul, but... That's fine. The fourth fleet? Let us send the fourth fleet out. Okay, let's embark all these armies. Where can we send them? I guess we can send them here. No, 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 I got transports already there. So what? So I just sent a fleet. Okay, I'm sending fleets there. Situation log updated. And we need to send fleets here. Let's get them. Oh, new research. We want, we want, what do we want? 
Let's go for energy weapon attack speed, plus 5%. Construction complete. How long will this take? 85 months. Or did that say 95? I did not look at it closely. Planetary invasion failed. What? The hell? What you say? What planet is this? Mmm. Embark. I want that planet now. Okay, well, these armies should be able to handle it. The enemy has been weakened, and there's 12 Gene Warrior armies here. That should work out just fine. Okay, what is the situation? We're currently fighting this world. How are we gonna do? Are we gonna win? Nice. Nothing is, nothing is guaranteed in war. Okay, they've been... Enemy planet, Enemy planet has been neutralized. Get in there. Are we almost done yet? 86%. Construction complete. Alien spaceport engaged. Situation log. What is happening here? Enemy planet secure. Okay, we're just dominating the system. We can build some more battleships now. We've saved up all of our minerals. Blah, I'm just gonna go crazy with the battleships. Oh, and those are cruisers. Let's get some des destroyers. Ah, I'm just gonna go random fleet is what we're gonna build. All right, 10K minerals. Embark all armies. We have 18 Gene Warrior armies. Get in there. Another election. We will con we will stick with Hiroto. Wow, we have 886 influence. Very good. Construction complete. So, we could be taking this world. What are they... I think this transport fleet could do it. They have eight... Oh, on, they only have eight clone armies. And, like, some other guys. One gene warrior. Maybe they can do it? We'll see. Maybe they'll get massacred. Oh, we have more armies coming in, too. Great. The reinforcements. Army damage, plus 10%. Oh, cool, stimulant diet, 5. Another 5% output? Yikes. Or... Yeah, 98 months for that. We're very close. Look at all of our armies. Okay, if we take one more planet, we should win. And I look forward to seeing how the borders change once we've done so. Like, like these planets are going to get cleansed, we're going to consume all that space. It'll be awesome. So we're basically at maximum influence. You know, there's some research we could scoop up. Oh, the war has been... the war has ended. Okay. So let's let's watch the borders. So I I mean they had, let's watch the borders shrink once we win officially win. There, yeah, look at that. They're all gone. They've uh, who knows what happened to them exactly. And these borders changed a bit in our favor. But yeah, the biggest gains we saw were over here. 
So let's see. Like, oh, th there are some planets here then we can cut. Oh, a Gaia world? A tw size 24 tropical world. Let us. We should terraform this tropical world. Do not colonize it. We're going to we're going, going to make it our own world. Oh, Gaia transformation takes 14 14,000 days, but the Savannah world only takes 3600 days. Yeah, let's just do that. Okay. Well, that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you next time for more Stellaris.